<laughs> Alright, hello everyone. I'm sorry for that intro, but anyways, I'm kind of happy today. Um, anyways, straight to the point. So, Brazard is enough for Shield Bash. Um, for night basically. She hasn't done anything for Paladin yet, but we'll see if it really came. But anyways, we've heard your feedback. What should best short school down me to pop for have a couple to stand up is a very is very fun game. <laughs> Sorry, what? However, being able to stand up is very funny gameplay and you want it to be switched. I did not write this wrong, right? However, being a being wait, just being able to stand up is very funny gameplay. Being able to stun them is very funny gameplay. They nerf tricks the trap cooldown for a reason, you know. And I purposely do not use full trap for a reason. Cause it's not fun for me and the opponents I'm fighting. And you need a 30 second cooldown perk which reduces your cooldown by 30% I'm 20% 20% my bad But anyways let's move to the details uh, should, char should charge base cooldown increase by 2% that, So it's now 3% cool, 3 second cooldown They added a new perk for to our first bucklet which is the shield from dunes And it now, it now reduce the cooldown by 1 second And then 50 deck reduce shield cooldown by 0 0.5 second And 100 deck reduce by another 0 0.5 second which is 1 second basically and using bucklet and hard dice together will allow you to maintain current shield charge behavior otherwise it is you know first of all Bursa, i'm happy that you released this update but please fix this losing screw in your head nobody likes stun locking 24 7 like do you actually pay the game okay so first of all the that's one problem that i see from me. and second um the charge i if i'm not mistaken the old shield bash cooldown was about four seconds right four this is what isn't it not four seconds i think it's about six seconds five six seconds or eight seconds something like that which is is it balanced not really because it, it's, it's a bit too slow why can't so what i was trying to say here earlier was um we should increase the good cooldown to about maybe around four I mean, yeah, increase the cooldown to about maybe 4 seconds, right? Because if they really want to make the shield and the 100 text work together, that's how they can make balance. And the way they can make it balance is reducing the damage from, I think it was 300 power to maybe around 150 if they, if they do not want to make the... You know, when I think about it, it's gonna be really annoying if you have really, really low power but really long cooldown but really long stun at the same time. Because, you know, annoying, right? And the two of us back to getting a, a, getting a new a perk really makes me happy since it's, it is a very good looking shield but nobody uses it because it's useless. And the biggest problem is 50 decks and 100 decks. Why is it? Okay, let me just... Right, now that we're in game, I know I have like 10 FPS but please bear with me for a moment. So the current night build that we all know that this in game is 150 decks because you know 150 decks gets to view this untouchable um perk that makes you basically basically um you can you basically cannot die and you have 45 block chance. Just uh, just uh I have is this the, the current build that most knights use? Of course, this is the whole clean gear. I mean, if they have like maybe fully ancient and maybe like block, maybe maybe variant, they get higher number than this. Of course, they do more damage. And as for now, Shield Bash already does tons tons of damage. Like three hundred power is a lot because most kills only do do about one hundred fifty or one hundred thirty. So yeah, does that make sense? Cool. Wait, let me just stat, reset my stat really quick to show you the differences. Also, this is new. 
they now show you that the actual start of the gladiator armor it's actually 20 not 120 by the way it's not enough it's just i don't know why it says 120 might be a glitch from back in all beta days i don't know but but thank god it's fixed so there's no more misleading let me just get a stat reset really quick so this is the current shield cooldown it's wait why is it why is it one two second i think it's the oh yeah it's three seconds down there okay my bad i'm just blind and i was looking at the stun duration <coughs> so basically the three second cooldown and if you equip the dwarf first buckler it will decrease to what, two seconds which it just show now which is really nice i i love it i love it good job brother good job or whoever's working maybe like loot or the other dev good, good job on you i love you then if we add 50 decks means 9 and 50 if you add 50 decks it just it shows 50 decks per cooldown reduced by 0 0.5 second it's now 1.5 second cooldown if you put it lower, if you put it to 100, it will add another 0.5 seconds, which is 1 second. I overdid that, but hey, that's your 100, that's cool. 100, that's cool, now it's 1 second. Which is good. That should show you, that's a good update, I love it. But uh, the problem is, um, most knights, as I've explained earlier, uses the 150 dex build. It's somewhere around this. I know I put too much point into that. But let's just pretend I didn't just do that. But they just use this basically. They have 20, and most people already have like block, like maybe like 10 or 20 block each sense from this armor. Also, did they remove the perk? I think they did. Ah, they did remove the perk. I don't know why. Like the perk, I. There used, used to be like a perk. Um, what's it called? Like box basically, like green box to show what's the perk like this has a green box. Okay, I don't know why they remove it, but hey, Vereza am I right? I mean Vestel I'm right. I don't wanna put blame on Vereza anymore. I feel bad. But anyways, this is the current night build that everyone has been using in color in one before and all. Because Shield Bash has a really high the um power base, like damage base. So even if you have trash gears, you can still dominate people in PvP. What's that? 6k. Let me just not. How much could I have? And if okay, makes sense. Can I stop creating, please? For 120. Okay. That's not bad, but because you know, I mean, I'm assuming in PvP when you're fighting a hunter, or let's say hunter because it's the most squishy. You'll do about. I had to check back, back my recording, but anyways, um, so me a fighting hunter, you're doing like, I think it was on 6k damage, I mean, for, oh, okay, that's new, that was not much bigger, I love it, hmm, I like it, good job, so it's for 120, so when fighting hunter in PvP, it average about 100, maybe around 90, 90 defense, hobo, which is about, let's just say, about 2 to 3k damage, um, with this build, uh, remember you can still stun lock people with this build. So, if you're using mage, you can just blink out of the stun. But if you're using hunter or any other warriors, I'm pretty sure you're just dead. Because you can use skill, but one way. So yeah, one way warriors could nerf this again without without removing the cooldown without. Increasing the cooldown or increasing the stun or, redu or reducing the stun duration is by allowing us to use any ability in that stun itself. Like in Trickster, when you, you get stun, but when you get trapped by Trickster, it's not stun, right? You can still use ability, which what makes that, that thing a bit bad, a bit balanced. I mean, it's still busted, really. I mean, at least when you're fighting a warrior example, you can just parry the trickster and if you use a mage, you can just slap them with a mana bomb or something. But if you're fighting a knight, you just, you know, you're just dead, basically. There's also 
also another thing that people always another build that people always use is the versera because you know the regen and the regens and st won't stop regening of course my versera is different because you won't get it in the in game you will just get a normal versera at least but hey that's all here's to it for the update um my con sorry you know what let's just talk about build for a moment i used to respect night means wait let me just get my camera looking at me please please look at me please come on look 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 look, look at me please why won't we correct okay there, there we go closer closer oh, okay good i used to respect night means in pvp why because the way how it balance it is like even after they added the this taunt not is it taunt i mean this is taunt skill like make it work in pv like make it work in pvp it's still balanced because the shield itself does tons of damage but has high cooldown it, yes it's high scaling skill it's just good but when i added this long low, low, low cooldown high damage a decent amount of stun and this amount of yeah this um, decent duration of stun it really does change the the balancing make it yeah you know you know what i'm talking about right so i don't think but anyways let's just talk about because i want to make this video longer right let's make it so my conclusion of this update overall i love the new ui like i just realized this when you hit an enemy that's like a new ui it's actually black now you can actually see better i hope it's bigger though I mean, let me just check it rock to see if it does work i mean i'm gonna make i'm, I'm making a night right now so i can't see oh yeah you can see now okay good good good, good. i love it i love it so i've run a night build um it's still broken Reza. so if you're watching this please um 150 decks is the meta right now if, if, if i know i know you don't play your own game but this 150 decks is the meta so tldr for if Bereza is watching this video and wants to fix this um reduce the cool reduce the power to 120 100 or 150 um decks increase the requirement from 50 and 100 to maybe about 150 to 200 or 100 to 150 okay also please nerf this thing or just take just freaking remove the perk it's too annoying but i have 20 oh wait what if uh 45 block chance and if, and if i use my block hobo i have 70 block chance sheesh okay my guy 70 block chest that's too balanced am i right anyways what do i think about the update um i think it's a good update not really so a good and a bad update same thing but overall is i'd say let's say i give it i'll give it a i'll give it a if i'm being generous i'll give it 3.5 out of 5 that's the update i guess Anyways, anyways, I know this video is all over the place. I apologize because of, of all, I've been disturbed by my family a couple of times that I forgot what I was talking, and then my FPS keeps dropping for some fucking reason. So hence why I cannot show you the in-depth detail on how to use Night with this new update and all. I'm so I apologize. I might make it in the, in the video later. So yeah, that's all for the Night update. I would like to hear your comments down below and what do you think about it. Anyways. Have a nice day. And I'm out. Bye.